Welcome to Dungeon Master. I know you wanted me to say that more than anything, so you knew what I was recording. But that up here in the right-hand top corner of this box here, it's a Wizards of the Coast design that we've seen on all the sites, but here it will lead us to the Dungeon Master and that we put out the... Hitchhiker's Guide to Dungeon Master right after we were swearing in these logos to the film. And that there's a new logo on board that is of this. And there's a new logo on board inviting those clubs to be part of the AV Club, which thrills around media debates and precisions and things of remakes and the way the subatomic particles of time form around things like concepts of video games and that now we find ourselves in Dungeon Master tapes of recent that the tapes they were all compiled on cassette tape in the 80s but made to fit the now with the dungeon forms of the architectural rebind but let us take from an easier day without the same soundtrack that now we have the classical music we were so yearning for just a might day away and that I see a hand in the frame is not uncommon of these early dungeon master episodes that had to be rewound and played again to see what the best parts are and that everything is the best part of all the Dungeon Masters is what you're agreeing on now. Although you forgot how good the originals were or didn't even know they had this in it. To begin with, now that we're seeing the bunny dance around and Alice crouching down toward the river is going to really freak us out that this was already in Dungeon Master. And we're not cutting away from it. That <coughs> we have to go to the... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm smoker coughing all over the place that we just had a pipe infringement where everybody was sharing their weed. I was off puffing my own. It was a weird distraction that I call Dungeon Master in terms of recreational therapy. Now, this is Dungeon Master Tapes. Not that I smoke all the time, but when I'm not smoking, I'm smoking all the time. Like Alice in this movie takes a smoke that has the lesser Disney consequence that Disney is a dark magic that we rarely use except for specific education. Doesn't mean that I couldn't cast Avril Lavigne in this movie. At least a phone conversation we had that I surreptitiously recorded and then asked her if I could use it. It was very fascinating to hear her voice in the movie. I couldn't quite make out all the words she was saying over the muffled recording of the phone, but that it stands as treachery to anyone that thinks I haven't done my bid with Hollywood and that Hollywood is the god we all want to be in so far above us that even to have a part in that is already part of the thanks we have for LucasArts lending us also and us giving them rights to AV Club is all in collaboration with how the logos for Dungeon Master I use that this is build a character mode and that there is Dark Wizard Blue wizard, red wizard, or green wizard are just things to look at when you're looking at the playing field of it all. That we're having a Dungeon Master kind of theme to look at all we've done in Dungeon Master to see how far we've gotten. That I don't know if that's the movie or the disc itself that we're looking at, but that it seems to be stuck on this simple frame Never mind what Dungeon Master is actually saying at these parts. These scenes are filmed upside down and backwards and totally admit to being in another vortex, but that we're looking now solemnly for those scenes from the Dungeon Masters of the past that someone say, 
we're recycling scenes already used, and I'm wondering if the internet can even keep up with this at the level we're on. But the, the level we're on is going only to the internet speed is not so foul, because now we get the timing moving so good that those pictures we saw of vacuous places are now monitors that are showing the path through the dungeon as if Dungeon Master's expansion was only that way at part six. But I'm looking at my notes and there's something to look for in this recapitulation level 41 that we have to recapitulate some of the levels. And we remember this Pokemon deck being a hard deck being shuffled several times in this show and that it was being beaten to the end of the level with the kicker, the flipper, the reverser, and the swimmer. And they all went out in the right order and the bottle still got capped was how Pikachu survived and I gained the character of the fox. If you remember this episode specifically, that adds one to your charisma that you can't just say you believe in this episode as being a Pikachu all-time high score in Pokemon. Then you would know what you're up against in Dungeon Master that this is only level seven and we're beating Pokemon to IGN standards is something I will brag about. For eternity, I know everyone will be indifferent and it will be cool because they'll be neutral. That I'll be knowing in my heart of hearts that no one's had a better Pokemon game than I. And this totally attests to it all by the mention of this whole thing that that's part seven. We don't want to hear any of the audio right now because we're going for Dungeon Master Tapes. That this is an interesting episode because I didn't really know where it was headed that it's an episode I haven't really seen the way through but that I directed it and not saw the way through is already a question for why Dungeon Master films backwards and upside down only to not repeat that we're at a screen of littered icons that will not find its way into the video for a moment so that we'd have to be listening to Dungeon Master's voice and be off the chain. Sorry for that vacuous space look that looked like we're in the edge of a Robert Brasson movie and then we're back to the editing of a movie that I've never seen that has people in it doing funny things, saying goodbye, that really things look like they're moving by themselves and that there's animation in this is already not that surprising considering the animation that has been done on this computer that don't let you down. There have been animators that have shared space with me on some collaborations to these shows and I'm seeing something even beyond the animation department that the colors and lights are making real things from a phantasmic world. And that is Dungeon Master, I see. Things from a phantasmic world. Lying also here, earlier than Split Spicer in the realm of the world of fiction that was greeted by the honor of all scriptures, that these pictures look already scary and that they seem to be moving like cartoons is no less one achievement we've seen from these still photos and books to be drawn in such a way that they look as though they actually are moving when you look at them that I know I've had a little bit of weed to smoke, and I admitted to that, right? But I swear those nuns over there are moving their heads and looking at me like, what are you looking at? And I'm saying to them, what are you looking at? I'm saying, look, you're talking to me, and they say, look, I'm talking to you, and it's really scary that these things occur on Dungeon Master, that I was but an animator that found the reanimation in all of the animation that was needing reanimated. But I can't help but think that we suffered the delicate loss of so many soldiers in this battle that was like the Civil War scene in Birth of a Nation. It was so 
atrocious to see Mason fight across Dixon, and for that line to go further north as the south drove them floods to almost victory, that there we see the hand of again the puppet master and where the puppet master movies sit as being chronicalized as faithful features of that feature belongs to me, but also belongs more to my friend in a foreign country named Iran, who is such a good filmmaker that for a serious moment, I had to remind him that either way it goes on most prolific where we are now won't be where we stop and that he'll be still going long after me because he's got the beauty of being young. And I'd have to turn into a real all about Eva to really want to bump him off the road to success. And I really hope, I really know in my heart of hearts that he has this world record under champ because me winning a second world record would be as tacky as winning the first. I think it'd be so pointless to bolster my ego with the second record that I hold for most movies directed. But that I do direct my own movies in my own way is not a film saying how I did this Lego animation with puppet mastering techniques. And by that, I'm joking about the puppet mastering because I'm a puppet novice. But that you can't see the hand and there is a moving toy that's speaking to us all in the level is not just why I wanted to stop here. There's another part of this level that reckons to be the most legoed out experience and I think this is one of them although the whole film offers close-ups of Legos struggling for battle and that the hand doesn't really shock out the frame is kind of something these movies have to be proud of but the, the everything at an angle makes it seem that they're being held up like the same way and I think that's how they can intercut how they dialogue to each other straight through to the camera and then that's how they speak to each other and that's the sorry I got so into the video that I missed it up top that this bodies of Lego men everywhere but they just need reanimated and that he's gonna get the gun this is too much to watch and I will take you to the vacuous space of the dungeon of dungeon scenes where all the dungeons we played come dungeon mastering over us. and We are not trying for inferior level design. We want hypercraft and long craft and rebooted craft. And I have to say that this is important because in this dilemma to find all the great moments of Dungeon Master that you've seen, although you haven't heard because for now, we've had a sound bug teach us to use different ways to make soundtracks. And that we have classical music in this, what would have vied to be a cartoon that is now like the Kenneth Anger special almost. But we don't curse it on that level because we succeed without mayhem. Although the mayhem of switching around in this being persona on that old rusty computer is such a beautiful computer that I wrote so much poetry on, said the author that owned the computer, that I traded him his computer back for his soul, that you can trade back for your soul. Did you know this? It's called selling out. Once you sold your soul, then you sell it out to get it back. And that's really how you sell out. You get your soul back by buying it back because you forgot you sold it, pawned it. And that I pawned my soul is not even a metaphor for how cheap my soul went for. The, this is Persona. The Persona has been captured here and kept at a responsible way of becoming a dungeon master. Doesn't beat what we see in some of these card character games that were before when Dungeon Master turned into digital animation, but that these pictures are often looked as though they're moving are actually traces of why I thought it was interesting that these episodes came so close, these Persona and this Mona Lisa and all these other Mona Lisas throughout 
the movie Sunrise back to my vacuous ship. And then we're going to look. We have time, we have place, we have situation to look at the things Dungeon Masters brought us and see all these gorgeous reruns of things we've probably seen a second time but now remember as a fading close by memory of what we've been through we see these get together films that we now hunch down into a mishmash of things you only can see now to eternalize these images is what the vacuous space requires of us to go barking through the film is to look for its beauty beyond belief in the sunrise of it all. And that we got these films from the registered use of license for these films that we fought and battled for these licenses. These are licenses that we've gotten. Makes me want to stay in some of these dungeons and just take in the architecture of the structure and the engineering and take it all in and say that even though it has this kind of broken out, revolu revolutionizing way of not really spelling out where the final dungeon is or how we get through this maze, that don't let this fool you that there's another puppeteer and that is the puppet himself playing along with this stereo that we can't hear probably him listening to Son of a Preacher Man. It's not that we did not want to, but now we could say his image hears only the music from the stereo over there, which is the same one as now we're looking here, but that the puppet doesn't want us to go above the frame because then he feels like he's being left out. doesn't matter because we've got to change Dungeon Master Tapes. Now that they were all on cassette tape and found is true, but that it's weird because a lot of them were on VHS cassette tape as well because that those were the tapes that we were talking about because they were originally transferred to VHS to give them this kind of sturdy quality of digital media effect that makes it look a little soaked in tea and crumpled up like it's an official document from a long time ago. And this episode is a crazy one because things aren't moving constantly in this that i'm moving constantly to and from these images of games that are like wizards of the coast magic the gathering and it's to join the dungeon master guild which i signed up for and they relied on letting me in now that i had to go back a level and remind you that there are levels that have things on it like the missions that were in the Dungeons and Dragons video game, that they were even advanced thin techniques and that these were hard to find throughout the world, these techniques. And we've gone through so many Dungeon Masters, we've seen so many things, but never have we seen this video game fully operational in its glory and in Dungeon Master. But that we have scurried out the music and now we search for a scene where we hear more instrumentals to get us through what we still have to look at as a fading memory as we recall back on the Dungeon Master tapes that have all been VHS tapes, accurately speaking, though they are transferred onto a cassette that goes to a computer, that there's some kind of direct dungeon master list and that these are probably the best dungeon masters is not what I'm saying but what I am saying is they got high tech when they got video game style because dungeon master already being a game has to in some way incur movement through the frame though there's a lot of pauses in the game and though now we have the movement through the frame, through the maze, we still have all of our pieces together on our character sheets that are helping us through these now becoming AD&D mazes. And this, this whole evolution of mazes in this level is not to be questioned of because how long must the long take have been to fortify through the Wizards of the Coast Dungeon Master that it's been 
a long time coming. But there's one level that we can't forget that hadn't been put on the arraigned list of all the games we'd like to see come in mix with Dungeon Master. And this is an episode we do love because the Dungeon Master gets to see Road Race outside the Dungeon Keep and that the screen itself goes away up there makes me wonder if we should forge further into the cassette and see if we fast forward it on a digital medium. It comes to us as play on the game. And that we're in the car that's already bashed up is good because we've talked about this before. And that the things we've seen in the city where we're being gangsters and we're stealing cars and we don't drive unless we steal a car, right? that these things are even being inquired on this level of Dungeon Master when it's the first time. Freedom outside the dungeon, and now you've got to go and steal and wreck a car and shoot up a neighborhood. Oh, you're just so ridiculously immoral. And I know the genealogies of morality have changed morality over time, but what you're doing is evil. But that we all like a bit of the evil scope is not the reason we like Grand Theft Auto. It's because we can pretend that we're doing all the things that it says in the game. Sorry, back to your space. Now that I keep having these highlights come up in the real with these Dungeon Master games we've been excluding from the others as though the others are any less or any greater or that they require soundtrack all to be the total Dungeon Master myth. But that the screen is showing a blur and that there's fantasy in the action crowd and that everyone's saying, what did you say back there about having another prolific score? And I would say, no, it is only the dungeon master that leads us to new horizons and that he will comfort us on our journey to change, that everyone will be with us when Link finally rises and Save Zelda's life from Ganon. And that everything is cartoon-like in this new cartoon that hasn't come out yet, except on Dungeon Master, which that it has is totally cool, because I could sit here and watch this forever and still not have it figured out as why I had seen it before. And then it was on the Dungeon Master docket. It's something I don't want to get confused that we're going to have to look at a dungeon master recently but i wanted to inspect one more before i closed out on dungeon master's guidance through a game that had been totally thrown upside down on its head which it was intended to be a game thrown upside down on its head and it's minecraft and us becoming this action adventure gangster film that wasn't expected to be a, a Grand Theft Auto nature, that we missed the first time we aired this, or we missed that these are gangsters too, and these guys are the Minecraft gangsters, and the Minecraft gangsters are also the Mindcraft gangsters. And that's a different game that was played last time with different narration over these same clips. That we're getting a few good clips back into mind about the Dungeon Masters isn't to say we've made a simple cartoon and montage about this level, although it certainly appears that we've got something like that even in a clip show of a clip show of a clip show of a clip show of a clip show. That everything is that on YouTube anyway and more that you can clip within the clip within the clip is not a bad thing. And that we always go back on our asynchronous stories, don't we, when we're around in the gangster version of Minecraft. And that this Minecraft version was made almost so we'd go through this gangster intro version of wondering if we're still playing Grand Theft Auto or Minecraft. <coughs> and I have to say blessings on those that play Halo because Halo is non-stop and never ends and that you even think you found the ending of Halo, you haven't found anything, but... I want to tell you that as much as it is of my value to keep it on this intercessory of Halo, that this episode towered longer than any of the other Dungeon Masters is quite 
known in its hour-long 23-minute format of Dungeon Master, that we could sit and follow it for the same hour would not be what we're doing with these greatest hits of Dungeon Master, that it's going to list as the greatest hits of Dungeon Master, and we barely got started on what all goes on. It threw out the Dungeon Masters, which I think we're all aware of when it was accidental offensiveness versus anything I've said to offend anyone, except that the Dungeon Master gets really grumpy sometimes and offends everyone just by being offensive. Being a Dungeon Master sometimes means taking leadership, which some people find offensive anyway, in their dialectics of politic. That in Halo and other shooter games that have first person POV, we have to be smart to play and we have to do good on our homework as a reward. We get to shoot everything up on Halo. It's a good thing because it's aliens and they're evil and they have to be killed like in Starship Troopers, right? Which you totally see in this episode. So, that it's not by redundance that we illustrate where we have left off in Dungeon Master. To take home with us the reminder that even this harrowing experience behind the camera has been totally brought by clips of Dungeon Master that I can easily access on any internet. Is already a full game of what we need and that we're seeing things from Fallout 3. I'm not sure but that these levels of commercials have never looked so decent is the last episode I filmed. And so we didn't get a level up. We didn't learn much except history and our history was flashing back to these events as though they would help us on the next mission that they won't exactly is because each dungeon is unique and guided by the viewer to see which direction we go means that each dungeon is going to be a maze and that the most mazy of all these to me is the hardest dungeon though you have your keys and your heal potions ready and I just take a look at awe and splendor of how Dungeon Master turns back into the character builder of a blank screen but only to where we see a certain symbol of animation arising from the Dungeon Master settings that they're plunging into an inferno of cartoons isn't even fair to say I'd say there's more of a takeover from the cartoonish world into our own in the Dungeon Master, and so will it take over and become a big cartoon? Was this a big cartoon? Was this a small cartoon? Was this a cartoon for just containing other cartoons and showing a list of cartoons that people would want to see anyway? Find out not from this premiere episode of the greatest hits of Dungeon Master. Find out by searching on your own. Search yourself, search your mind, search yourself and find out that game hybrids with filmmaking, with role-playing games like from Wizards of the Coast, all team up to sell the products, the advertising, by selling themselves as the world that contains those products that you need to complete the dungeon. And I think that's how the ancillary rights are divided up, that we're going into the vacuous space and cut.